All right, we're live. OBS is ready to go. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's go. I'm starting the game right now. Okay, so maybe Should, uh, protection at max level. Right, oh boy. Oh well. Mute the stream. Yeah, mute. It's mute like a, it's like people who call in radio shows and they leave the radio on in the background. You're right. <laughs> the DJs always get annoyed. Anyway. There Game is go. Let me. I'm assuming the password is still the amazing password. You know it. All right. So I looked into. Uh, I opened up Grimcalc to look at the max level Maven Sphere of Protection uh -huh. with max level conversion. And um, so at max level, you do 10% less damage, but you take 25% less damage. Hmm. And if you max the conversion ability, which is its second, then 60% energy absorbed from enemy spells and 24% reduced stun freeze petrify duration. Oh, yeah, that seems pretty good. There's like so many points that I can, that I want to invest. Like I can't even imagine choosing a second class right now. Seriously, that's why I'm like trying to look at doing a solo class Arcanist with a magic missile. Oh yeah. Focus. I was considering going magic missile. Because th this um, Kalidor's Tempest is pretty good. Yeah. But I, I do like having some ranged capabilities as well. But I think uh, we'll see how Devastation goes. I'm going to just beeline for that. Ten points into the Mastery and then put at least a few points into Devastation. See how that goes. And then yeah. I'll get the uh, Sphere of Protection afterwards. I'd really like to know it, how um, the Harbinger, Call Forth the Harbinger ability scales up with like higher levels of this weapon. Yeah, we will have to see. Also, yeah, this lizard devotion tree. Three points will give me... Let's see. There's a plus three health regen, 15% constitution. Then there's plus five health regen per second. And then the last point is health regen, 15%, 15% constitution. Sounds nice. Might help a little bit. I think I'll go for that next. After that, I have no idea. I haven't looked at this tree like I said I was gonna. So we'll, <laughs> so we'll just have to wing it. I sort of have a plan for my my devotion tree. I just hope it works. I have no plan, but I hope whatever I go works as well. But in any case, I think I am ready. Oh yeah, the shield. I'm not going to go with the shield after all. Just sell it. So let's see. Oh, no, that's a tough choice right there. Old Arcovia. Oh, wait a minute. There's a ruined shrine we missed. Yeah, it's the one that uh, requires the frozen heart. Oh, yeah, that's right. A damn frozen heart. All right, let's hit the road. Durable Fortified Run Dosh. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. It's a shield. Shields are nice. If you're into, you know, being defensive, that's your kind of thing. Hmm. I only have one more dynamite. I'd rather not waste it right now.
Oh yeah, and apparently that that dynamite cave way back in like Act One. Yeah. Apparently it's like a a secret dungeon behind it. it has like some loot and stuff in it. A secret dungeon. That sounds like it's a fun time. If what Ziggy D said was true, those are the words he uh, used to describe it. It seemed like it led to its own like uniquely named dungeon area. I don't know how big it was, but if it's got loot in it, kind of won't it. Oh, this dude uh, kind of hurts. He is level uh, 28. Hey, 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 come on. I was hoping that we, we would get a nice round <laughs> where I wouldn't be the focus of bosses. I don't know what it is about you, but bosses just do not like you. Got him, though. Elixir of the Hunt. Alright, let's see here. What does this offhand do? Oh, yeah, and I got it's a not green. Pets, so I am not a fan of it. <laughs> Nothing amazing for me, I'm afraid. Frankie the knife. Oh man. Why should I spare you? We'll spare Frankie the knife. All right. See how that works out for us. I'm fully anticipating getting totally screwed over by sparing because someone. Because you spared Frankie the knife? Not just Frankie, but in general, sparing people. I'm sure it won't come back to bite us. Oh, I'm sure it will. <laughs> I don't want to no go fate. back to, like, Devil's Crossing and find it burned to the ground. Because we sent someone back there that we probably shouldn't have. Hey, a green book. Gets pet damage bonus and pet health. Ooh. How much pet damage bonus? Uh, 9% all damage, 4% health. But it grants a skill. Reckless, Ooh, reckless Guardian. 5% chance when hit. Calls forth a Guardian with strong attacks. That sounds cool. Reckless Guardian lives for 40 seconds, has 3,875 health, 702 energy. Do you use uh, book offhands? I use caster offhands. Might be worth using. Get yourself a guardian. Oh man, I need some spirit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's time to start spending those points you've been saving up a little bit. Uh, maybe. Once again, I want to make sure I can use uh, certain things. And this dude does not want to go down. There we go. Oh. Hallie and the rat. The damn dirty rat. More scrap. Venom More scrap. fang oil. I only got one piece of scrap. Get that dynamite. I don't see no dynamite. I found some dynamite. Damn it. Alright, so we got the exit there. We have an exit there. Yeah, there's possibly more. There's more down to the south we didn't see. 
Yep. <laughs> Cut your face off and then explosion of blood. These dudes have no idea. I think I found a lore bonus. Ooh. My energy is low. Pretty sizable one. Oh, hey. Dynamite for me. <laughs> Can't pass up those shinies. And this is a dead end. I think this game functions the most bizarrely out of all of the games I can run in borderless window mode. Oh, really? Yeah. How so? I'm running it, it in looks... borderless window right now. I'm running it in borderless window, but like if I click out of it, it just stops updating. Stops updating? Yeah, like it, it stops like it's updating just... like what it displays to the screen. Like it stops rendering all of its state updates. Hmm. Let me try that. Mm, I still see you running around. I just don't have sound. Me, it just it doesn't it doesn't update things. Like I click out and now the game is like frozen basically. Oh, it's weird. Right. Dead end. Do you name. have like a really low background frame rate setting? That's a thing in this. Oh, yeah, I do. There we go. Much better. There you go. Oh man, all that for a dead end. That's fine. There's plenty to explore and to murder. This is true. I mean, have you seen that world map? It's huge. Yeah. It's got to be tons I, of caves and stuff right, hidden around. Though I can safely say this game is not as long as Titan Quest. Oh, uh, yeah. I played Titan Quest with a couple of buddies of mine. It was good times, but yeah, it was quite long. I never played through it. I didn't even finish the first act. Oh, really? I think... Yeah, it, was, it took so long to get, like, even partway through the first act. <laughs> It's been a few years, so I don't actually remember how long, but I think we played through it twice. Once on the first difficulty, and then the next difficulty up. I also didn't really have people to play it with. Ah, uh, yeah. A problem. That enhances the experience. Probably why I felt like everything took so long. Potentially. Open up, bitches! Destroying oh, those forges. Got some dynamite. Keeping on the lookout for things to destroy. Looks like that's everything. Huh. I can hit him from you down here. Above you. Yeah. Wow. Tempest OP. Hey, wait a minute. Oh yeah, there's a way. Over yonder words. It takes me so long to break down doors. <laughs> I did it. Killed the hero. Still taking damage though. I found dementia. Oh, it's a book. Epic offhand. You and your epic finds, man. Pretty good. 
Grants a skill terror. 10% chance when hit. Fills the minds of nearby enemies with visions of their own demise, causing the weak-minded to flee. So, not bosses, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Some pretty good stats on it. Upgrade. Break that door because I can. <laughs> that forge, oh, I can't use my spell on it. It's weird, sometimes my spell just doesn't want to come out. Ash the Wall Feral. Related to Will Feral? Maybe. Why do you hate me? <laughs> they all hate you. Like, he's completely ignoring everything. Oh, hey, another epic. Wow. What I really need epic is belt. I need to, like, get the ability that generates threat for my briar thorn yeah it's a set item not for me though it's for a, a dual pistol character unfortunate we already go through that cave there's a star in it so I guess not Cronley's hideout. Let's get this fool. Not bad. I think I'm getting to the point now where I want to stop picking up yellows. It's like most of my inventory are greens and blues now. Yellow ain't just gonna, it's just not gonna cut it. Yes, well, that's nice for you. Looks like my RNG is starting to come around a little bit. My RNG died rapidly. <laughs> ah, God. Money bags, Martin. Why do they hate me? I don't know. Is there some kind of... I apparently generate more threat than you, which is bizarre because I don't do damage. Yeah. Maybe they take your pets into account. Maybe. Nothing. Oh, jug. This hideout's bigger than I thought it would be. Oh man, I see a devotion shrine. Oh shit. Hopefully that doesn't require materials we don't have.
I'm getting all the scrap. Yeah, I got scrap from that, like, the same location you just picked yours up from. Secret wall. Oh, the riches. It's a shame that didn't drop anything good. Oh, I got a green. Hey, I got a green. But is it good? Uh, mine? No. It's a gun. Mine's a scepter. It's got resistances. Plus one to Blackwater Cocktail. Don't have that. It's a damage upgrade. I'll lose the skill energy cost. Oh, and 15% all damage. Hmm. So is it a damage upgrade, really? Probably not. I'm gonna go see what this uh, shrine wants. Alright, there's the shrine. being guarded by angry things. Oh boy. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Ectoplasm. Right, so... It requires a piece of scrap and scavenged plating. I have one piece of scavenged plating, but it's not a whole one. I need two more pieces. I wonder if I have some back in town. You see anything you like? Yeah, I'll sell that weapon. 15% all damage. I want to let that go. And lore bonus. Can't forget the lore bonus. See what's left of what nope. See you around. See you around. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Put it to good use. Ah, there we go. I have a full piece of scavenge plating now. Save storage, no questions Take one piece of scrap with me. Oh, I have four pieces of dynamite now. If only I could remember where that one cave was. Here in, in Act uh, One. The first area? Yeah. Um if I had to guess, it would be Foggy Bank or Whitemire. And we have to go scouring. Scouring them caves. Alright, here we go. Let's see what it gives us. I got a blue! I have whites. <laughs> I got some blue boots. Explorer's foot pads. Let's 
seems alright. 10% movement speed. 24 fire resist. 52% reduced entrapment duration. That could be alright. 21% slow resistance. I think I like my current ones a little bit more though. Just a bit, ever so slightly. I want them. I want to get them. Of course you're going to get them. They're too busy trying to kill me. It's true. I exist, and they're like, gotta kill that guy. Yep. Unless I run in there first, then they're all about yeah. killing me. And they all have a strange fascination with wanting to cut our faces off. Like there's some way up there that we miss, but I don't see a connection. Oh. Suddenly wasps. Yep. And two royal jellies. Nice. Oh gosh, Nodra the Shadow, Ooh. and I pulled all the aggro. It's alright. It's got nothing. Oh hey, another blue. But is it good? It's another belt. Defensive ability, reduced stun duration. No, it's like the exact same belt. Stats on it are pretty comparable. Higher stun duration reduction, so I'll wear it. Yay, increased maximum health. Another champ. Merrick Aether touched. He's gonna be touched, all right. Oh my! That was very inappropriate. It was actually quite appropriate. More scrap. Scrap dynamite. is piling up now. I've got three dynamite. Hey, it's. I draining. still have four. Oh, hey. That guy that you spared. This bitch. It's all crystalled out now. So he wants to take us out. But we can ask to join him. What do you think? Should we kill him? I... I definitely didn't join him. <laughs> Let's do it. There we go. Get that reputation. Check here real quick, and some dudes.
I keep forgetting to allocate points. All right, going towards that devastation. Let's see, devotion. Yeah, I'll get the lizard tray for constitution and regen. After that, who knows? Eel gives me defensive ability. Pierce resist and 4% chance. No, 2% chance to avoid melee, 2% chance to avoid projectiles. Wonder if that's worth it. Hey, wasps. <laughs> More wasps. These guys are easy mode, though. They think they're cool, but they're not. Tsunami rank five. I also recently learned that legendaries drop at level 50. That's something to look forward to. Oh boy, I get to look forward to not finding any. Yay. <laughs> it's okay, if I find some that's good for you, it's yours. You know that. The benefits of playing with friends and not yep. randos. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cronley. He's talking me in circles. End this now. Oh, shit. What a surprise. <laughs> He's aggroed on you. I feel so targeted right now. He's not the only thing. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't use my energy potion. There we go. Almost got him. There we go. Got a green and a blue. Uh, a bunch of yellows and a white. Sounds about right. Good to see that my RNG is back where it used, <laughs> used to be. Where it belongs, one might say. A couple of chests, though. Could get something good from here. I oh, another blue. I got a blue. Holy crap. It's a miracle. It's a I have a, miracle. I have a blue pistol. 
That's that's great. Oh, and a blue uh, crossbow. Yay. Void blade. Epic one-handed. It's not good for me. Grants a skill doom bolt. There's a two-handed scythe with a 22 pet damage, 8% attack speed on it for pets. I don't think that one's in the cards. <laughs> yeah. As Offhand. cool as it would be. It's all about the offhands. That little chest had a lot of stuff in it for me. Oh man, it's nice to be able to heal my pets. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. And I guess it's nice to be able to heal you. Yeah, I guess that's... kind of a good thing, too. The strongest minion. I don't know about that. I, know about that. I can't, uh... <laughs> if there was, like, a skill... or a devotion thing that allows you to apply pet bonuses to allies... That would be insane. It should totally be a thing. I'm the pet master, but only when I play with other people. Yep. Nice expressway oh, out. Hey. I'd report to some dude in Devil's Crossing. Report our badassery. May as well not delay. See anything you like. Except for when it comes to oh, buying see. scrap at the vendors. See anything you like. And selling crap that we're not going to need. See you around. Got something you need stashed? Still got this Annals of Arcovia quest reward too. I'll keep an eye on this. All right. I am respected. They respect me around here. We gotta speak to Barnabas. Alright, dude, what you want? They're having a food situation. Need to go to the northwest. More quests to add to the pile. You see anything you like? Oh man, we're respected. Yep. That means <laughs> more stuff can be bought. See you around. Oh really? From the quartermaster. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. I'm still not level 35. I can't take this stuff. Those recipes, though. Yeah, these recipes.
see if there's anything super good. Silver core bolts. That's something I think I might pick up, as well as Aether Soul. Devil's Cord belt could be alright. I'm mostly looking at the things that are blueprints for other crafting components, basically. Yeah, that could be good too. Something to invest in. 11 grand each, though. I, took I mean, yeah, I got 65,000. I could get them. Except for silver core bolts. I don't know if I need that. Wait, didn't we just kill Hallie and the Rat? Sounds familiar. Because the bounty on the bounty board is to kill Hallie and the Rat. Hmm. Maybe he respawned. That'd be interesting. Put it to good use. Learn some recipes. Which ones? The, uh, let's see, Focusing Prism, Rotten Heart. What was the other one? Rotten Heart, Aether Soul. Aether Soul, yeah. What about Silver, silver Core bolt, Bolts? Am I gonna need them? No. Maybe not. It seems like it would be... Is used in guns, crossbows, and oh, caster offhands. Uh, piercing damage, all damage. Reduced defensive ability. Put it to good use. Which reminds me, there's a devotion skill that I saw Zig D messing with. What was it called? It was like the scorpion. Scorpion Sting, 25% chance on attack, can reduce targets to defensive ability, and a bunch of other things. Poison damage over time. That's something I might want to go next. Once I'm done with Lizard... That cost me a hefty sum of gold. I it bet it did. Those three took like half my money. I spent over half of my gold just buying those recipes. <laughs> Also nice. Got rid of that quest. What's going on down here? He's not aware of this place. I actually hit up this place before killing Cronley. Oh, really? So, yeah, I got a couple more quests from this area. Nice. I killed their overseer and then I had to rescue the children. Anything in their house for me to steal? No, nah, it's a shame. Oh, 
Oh I'm man, so close to a level up right now. One good monster pack should do it. Or oh, these bandits. There we go. Alright. Put some more points into physique. Gonna need them. Alright, four more mastery points until I get access to devastation. such a tease as well. I'm only going to get three points next level, so I have to wait for the level after. Right. Where am I going? Where are we going? What's going on here? I'm on this one. Is there a quest down here? Apparently I lost my hellhound without realizing it. Oh, bristly fur. Finally found some. Ah, I see. A lot of yellows. I got two greens. Nothing that's blowing my mind. That's too bad. Yeah, cool deal. Gotten every single shrine so far, it looks like. Oh, where is Holly in the rat? I want to know if he respawned. <laughs> Could have. I don't know what the respawn times are like. Oh, is it? Yep. The mine we just came from? Hanafi mine. In this direction, I think? I don't think he's respawned. Yeah, I'll have to come back Which later. makes the, uh, the bounty really unlucky. <laughs> yep. And I also don't really remember where exactly we fought him. Yeah, it's problematic as well. But it looks like there's nothing in here. No. Bounty board, you gotta be better about this sort of thing, man. Yeah, I know, right? What the hell? We trusted you. <laughs> you failed us. So, let's see... Down and left. There's that detonation site. I can swing it. Got a bunch of dynamite now.
Explosion time. And already I see a quest on the minimap. Holy shit! It's Gulgoth, the rampaging. He also hurts a tiny little bit. Alright, not bad. And a polished emerald for me and everything. Skellies. Hello, quest giver. Balvarook. Wants us to banish some spirits. And seek out his companion, Calderos. To do it. Yeah, this is backtrack. <laughs> yeah. Hey, crack lodestone. Scepter of the wind. Oh yeah, and apparently when we kill the final boss, we get a guaranteed legendary. That's tailored specifically to our class. Oh, I hope uh, I get a good one then. We shall see. His tailor is specifically to my class, does not necessarily uh, fill me with confidence. Yeah, it could still be a lot of things. I think I was bleeding there. Alright, Skeletal Knight takes a little bit to go down. Yep, I got a bunch of loot over here. Don't leave me out. Ah, oh, Forgotten Passage. Not a bad bounty. Quest over here. Oh, Collect it's... forgotten passages within the ruins of Old Arcovia. Well, there's a ruined entrance right here. How convenient. I'm going in.
Two out of three. I somehow completed it. What? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was... Maybe one I dropped in the outside it. area that I didn't get. I got... I remember picking up one outside, but not another one. Oh. I picked up one outside as well. I got it, though. Maybe he just bugged. <laughs> Potentially. Also picked up something else out of that. Lore. Recipe, blood fang oil. Sure. Man, there's so many ways to go. Yep. Searing Ember, don't mind if I do. I destroyed the dilapidated urn. Nice. Get anything good? No. That sucks. Yo. I mean, let's think about who we're talking to here. <laughs> Did I get anything good? You raise an interesting point. Kill the skeletal priests first. I went in on this action. He already did. Yep. Well, so much for that. More dilapidated than ancient urns, which yield nothing. Oh, hey, a metal strong box. Just money for me. That's what most of these yellow items translate to for me. Yeah. No most dread. Gonna be no most dead in a minute. Got a blueprint. Oh, I got a Devastat couple of blueprints. Devastating Moonstone Amulet. It's not that great. I got Life Stealer Oil and Adepts of Greaves. Elemental damage 186 energy. A little bit of movement speed, slow resist, plus random stats. And it grants a skill, 100% chance when hit by a critical. Blast of negative energy freezes anything in its path. Requires level 30. Sounds cool, though. Freeze things around me when I get crit. I can't wait to play the full release of this game where it probably isn't going to lag every time I pick up something. Yeah. That's the dream. You missed a chest, by the way. Oh, hold on a sec. Stuff going on outside. You're yelling. Dog's probably gonna bark. Some dude chasing a, his dog, I think. Oh, green. Look at that. A helm. Requires more physique than I have. Silver amulet of desolation. I want a good amulet. Dog's freaking out. I can hear. She does it all the time. Whenever someone has the audacity to be in front of our house, she's on it. 
<laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Man, there's still a place, <laughs> a whole like section of the map we haven't been to yet. And yet this keeps you know going. Be, like, the most infuriating game mechanic ever. What's that? In, well, in a game like this, the most infuriating game mechanic I can think of is to have the monsters uh, drop generate when it spawns. Oh yeah. So that way, if you don't kill it, you actually do miss out on an item. Oh, that would suck. It's like that. You'd have to kill every monster because if you didn't, then you might miss the monster that had the drop you were looking for. Yeah. And uh, what if that worked the same way for, like, crates and barrels? It's like, oh, there's a guaranteed legendary in one of the barrels. Good luck. Let's find have them all. Have fun finding it. Yeah. Imagine that in, like, Diablo 3. Oh, that would be awful. Just think about all the urns in, like, the path leading up to Leoric. Oh, yeah. I mean, generally, I destroy them all anyway because I have OCD tendencies. But for the people who don't, and if that were the case, it's a lot of potentially missed loot. Oh, exit. We didn't finish the quest down there. <laughs> Damn it. So I guess the area of the map that we didn't go to was important after all. My inventory is actually getting pretty full. <laughs> and mine's starting to get there. Probably because I pick up all the yellows, because I don't find anything but <laughs> yellows and whites. Oh hey, speaking of the yellow item. Oh hey, speaking of yellow items. What oh wow. The hell? Oh, you want more items? There you go. I actually don't have enough inventory space for all this. I'm starting to run low. Oh wait, I have a second bag. Oh yeah, that's true. Right there. I keep forgetting that as a thing. Oh, I just remembered something I wish this game did. What you wish it did? Um, I wish that it would not display item names unless I was like holding alt. So that like... For like stuff on the ground? Yeah. Oh, yeah, an auto hide. Yeah, that would be good. Because like, that's, that's one thing I like in Path of Exile is that, like, if you can make it so that I, you can't pick up items unless you're holding down alt. Yeah, loot filters are like the shit in PoE now. This game apparently has the ability to do loot filters, but I haven't seen it. Hmm. So. Got me a level up. Three points towards devastation. There's a lot of angry dudes in here. Tsunami rank six. There's a quest over here. Oh, okay. It's path down. Gotta kill everything down here first. 
No witnesses. No undead witnesses. Yeah. Except one. You leave one to tell the story. <laughs> hey. Respected. We're respected with the rovers now. My energy. I think that's mostly everywhere. I heard money drop though, so I want it. Uh, skeletal gargantuan. Let's that's go. a thing. Oh, no loot orb. That's a shame. I think that's everything on this floor. Looks like it. Except for a random pile. Random pile of nothing. Random pile of human remains. I also get some lag whenever you load out of a, of a zone. Yeah. Level 29 dudes, and 30. Soloing this with a melee character was less than amazing. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Oh, corpse dust. Sounds lovely. Tenebris the Blood Drinker. Uh, and there's another one. Lados Bagra. Bagra. I'm bad with weird fantasy names. All I know is I'm getting my ass kicked. You've run out of energy. <laughs> I can't use my potion for some reason. I think it's, uh, it's still on cooldown, but it was behind like the number of potions I have left, so I couldn't see it. Found some green gloves I though. Got, I got two blues, and they're things I can't use, and my inventory is full. Like a hundred percent? Pretty much a hundred percent full. Have some lore bonus. Now it's a hundred percent full. Nice. Mm, these gloves aren't so great. Devil's Crossing. Ooh. Another green I didn't see. Heavy armor, though. Requires, like, 200 more physique than I have. Requires 414 physique, but player level 12. a lot. And yeah, I'm gonna head back to. May as well. Come see what's left of my wares. Just buy all of my junk, good sir. I didn't check them for scrap. Oh yeah, shit. We should have checked and see if uh, the scrap from the vendors are shared. I think it is. <laughs> Possibly. I'm pretty sure it is because I went to buy scrap at one point and it's like, this item has already been purchased. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Right, I'll chill out here real quick while you do your thing. Need to go for a quick uh, bio break.
And I guess I let my dog out. She's right next to me, giving me the stare. So I'll be right back. A couple minutes. All right. I have returned. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Let's go kill some more stuff. All right. I wonder if the uh, rovers have a bounty board. Maybe. Come see what's left of my wares. Yep, they have a bounty table. We can buy rover gear. And blueprints. I'm, I'm gonna head to Old Arcovia and see what their bounty table is. If they have one here. Oh man. They got blueprints. Come see what's left of my wares. Level 35. What kind of blueprints? Uh, the ingredient they've got ingredients, yeah. Rune stones. Vengeful Wraith. And of course, they're 11,000 each. That would take most of my money. Yup. Don't forget the 18,000 material recipe. Oh, yeah. Might have to come back for that one. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, man. Oh, what happened? Did you look at the gear they sell? Like the Rorari sh shoulder guard, plus one to summon Briar Thorn, bonus to all pets. Oh wow! Just that's a lot of pet bonuses. Yeah. Health regeneration for pets, elemental resistances. Yeah, that seems pretty good. The the Rorari Quirus, seventeen percent all damage, three percent offensive ability, increased health regen, elemental resistance. You have the physique for it? Nope. <laughs> the biggest downside to like buying those so sorts of items is that like I completely screw myself over as far as resistances go. Yeah. The 
But they've got all those pet things. That is a lot of pet things. Temptation is real. It's pretty real. They have like better versions that have actual resistances for me. So that'd be nice. These hand guards look pretty all right. They do not. For me. <laughs> they do not have versions that give me resistances. Yeah, that's true. Let's see what the bounty is. Slay skeletal revenants. I feel like that's something we encounter where we're going. I, I saw some where we were. Go to town to clean up inventory. Have a bunch of items to pick up on return. Yep. Oh, I come back and there's a green on the ground. Another big dude. Who unfortunately was a pushover. He's back to where we came from. Hey, we've killed two of the six. Have we? Yep. <laughs> I don't see it on my uh, oh. quest list. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did you not take the... Do, does me taking the bounty not... Have you take the bounty? Apparently not. Maybe right, well, bounties are individual. Well then, I'm doing this bounty, and I've got four out of six. That is unfortunate. Aether Wraith. Holy, what is going on over there? Lots of things. Oh, blueprint. I like how all of his loot was surrounded by a DOT. <laughs> that was really nice. I also didn't get anything other than whites. If you'd like to go back and grab that bounty real quick to see if you can complete it. Yeah. That would be the time. Probably should. Let's have a look. Wherefore art thou bounty table? There we go. There we go. Slay revenants, zero out of six. Oh, you've missed four. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, mine is there. Well, if you found four already, that shouldn't be too difficult to find them. I would imagine not. But it's a good uh, lesson for the future. If you're going to accept a bounty, do it at the same time.
That's five. One for me. Hooray. Love me some secrets, even though that one was horrible. Wow, that horrible. chest was awful. I got one white item. I got a white item and some money. Skeletal Nightmare business. Rovena Kerr. Whoa. I don't know what that was, but you can cut that shit out. Yeah, I was not a huge fan of fighting this particular. Uh. Oh man, something hurts like hell. I think it's that. Just a hunch. Getting all kinds of reputation with the rovers, though. Yeah. When I first saw the faction tree, I was like, does that mean, like, I can become friends with the ethereals? That would be an interesting thing to do, but... Somehow it doesn't seem like it's possible. That's a CRPG sort of thing, really. Would be cool, though. In the current state of the game, it would be hard to try and be friendly with them, considering they're already trying to kill you. Yeah. Another gargantuan down here? I don't see it yet. Hey, that's the sixth revenant for me. Congratulations. Oh that's god, I'm gonna die. Ready. There's a pair of pants oh. in that dilapidated urn. Yes, there were. Wow, this is a really inviting entrance right here, you know, just a pile of skulls and bone. Doesn't it make you feel good? I feel welcome. Floating Arbalist. Do you see what I see? Ooh, I do. But what does it want is the question. Hopefully something we have to offer. Keep exploding. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, Let's uh, stop staying in there. I was uh, very close to dying. I had some close calls, yeah. 
Maven's Tome. I got a Raider Aegis of Shattering. Part of a set. And it's for you. Oh, is it? No. Nice. This requires Chilled Steel, which I don't have. Check this shit out right here. Yeah, looks pretty good. Oh man. I like that three set bonus. Yeah, I'll wear it. Give it a shot. It's more energy. Ooh, nice. Green helm. Something of kings. Infantry Swamp helm of kings. Swamp dwellers leggards. This one's actually not bad for me. Gives a skill. 5% chance when hit. Embolden nearby allies with a mighty roar. It's a war cry. But the actual stats it gives me are a bit unfortunate. Plus I lose plus one to all skills. I don't know how to feel about that. Chest is locked with heavy chains, one dynamite to break it open. Well, I have three. Let's do it. A lot of money. And a f couple of yellows. I guess those pants are slightly better. I need to get some good pants. Fire and cold res. Less actual armor. I want to be more resistant though. Alright, what's going on? What's up here? Another entrance? Oh, just leads back here. Yeah, I guess I did the bounty. I didn't, uh, didn't even realize. <laughs> Speak to Calderos outside the steps of Torm. Holy shit, I picked up some iron bits and I didn't lag. What is going on here? I wouldn't get used to it. Unfortunately. You speak the truth. Never went up here. Oh wait, I never checked my devotion. Yeah, I have two points available. Finish the lizard tree. Some extra health and regen for me, and I think I'm gonna go scorpion sting next. to get that point first. Oh man, getting close to a level up too. Okay, that hurt. Slightly.
Oh yeah, and just a heads up, I have about an hour and 20 minutes before I gotta get ready to head out. Should get a fair amount done though. Oh shit. Enter the wasp cave. Swarming hive. When there's a champion out here. Oh, is there? Nope. I'm coming. And as usual, it wants me dead. Oh, of course. Oh, hello, blue. Another belt. Alchemist belt. Acid damage, spirit, constitution, poison, and acid resistance. And it gives me a skill whenever my health drops below 20%. Oh shit. 15% plus 300 health restored. 25% energy restored. Requires level 29, rip. Save it for later, though. On level 28. It's devastation time. Take care of that real quick. I'll put two points into it. Oh, suddenly I have three. What? Oh yeah. The plus one. Alright, sweet. Set that to number four. Devastation. Hello, green and blue. Just sitting here. Exalted stashes, man. It's good stuff. Bam! Get devastated on, bitch! And a blueprint. Squire's handguards. for shields. I'll learn it anyway. Mm, this belt I found seems okay. 8% damage, 20 offensive ability, 15 defensive ability, health and energy regen, 33%. I guess I'll wear it for now until I get that other belt on the go. Now these pants. Elemental damage, 9% energy. Yeah, I'll wear that. Killing things without me. I feel so left out. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Cave is done. Okay, better show. I missed them. Thank you. Inventory's getting a bit full. Should probably head back soon. Yep. Not quite yet, though. I can push it some more.
right, here we go. What the hell's going on here? Hmm, this dude's gonna shoot this lady if I don't give him money. It's only 300 iron bits. Or should we attack him straight up? I was hoping to get him before. Oh well. Okay, so the thing about that is that that was just a con. Oh, so if I gave him money, she was in on it? Yeah. Oh, well, good. I'm glad they're dead. You killed them, you terrible person. Feels good. Come see what's left of my wares. They were just trying to survive, man. Well, they ran into the wrong person. So heartless. I thought this was a given. Given my uh, recent Undertale genocide spree. Yeah, that's a good point. Expected no less. Yep. Alright, let's stash the goodies. Let's see, Spirit Bane Ointment. Stash that. For now, combine and sort. I'll keep this belt on me. Level 29, not too far away. I mean, I only just leveled to 28, but... Leveling still seals fiends fast. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Oh, nice. I got the revenant reward. Any more bounties to get? Uh, there is another one that you can pick up. I didn't look at what it was, though. Let's see. Gonna... We have to slay Olagon Dar. Didn't we fight Olagon Dar, or am I? I don't know. Am I mixing things up at this point? <laughs> Potentially. All the names are starting to run together. There's a desecrated shrine up there we didn't do anything with. Did that require something we didn't have? Desecrated shrines are fighting things. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks nearby. We can go on foot from here. And the name sounded familiar, but the spelling is not. Yeah. So it's gotta be this landmass to the north. Undercity. That's not how you get there, you gotta get to the bridge. We'd have to go back to the Undercity to kill Oleon. Oh, okay. In due time.
I can cross this bridge up here. Can't leave the shrine behind. No shrine left behind. Indeed. It sort of rhymes. Almost. Ah, uh, here fighting. Shit's going down. Skeletons, ghosts. That was a sizable ambush. And now they're dead. also doesn't appear to have been mm. the proper path. Yeah, it's to the west more. Well, at least we killed some things. That's yeah. a bonus. It wasn't a complete waste. Hooray! Got some experience. That's all that matters. Get that level 29 so I can equip my belt. White Panther in my inventory, what are the, what's that all about? I'm offended. I panicked at the Rift Hound and then I realized it was the Guardian. <laughs> Ooh, this way. I better switch my uh, switch my left click to move only. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Start. Devastation. Nice. Hey. Recipe: blood fang hey. oil. Soldiers etched horn of the abomination. <laughs> the names in this are so good. <laughs> so yeah. Time to go for Scorpion. Get that Scorpion sting. I'm one away from Flame Torn. What other options do I have in this tree? Crit damage, offensive abilities, fire damage, elemental, bleeding damage, cunning, spirit, oh hey look, more pet damage, and pet bonuses. Cunning and spirit, less damage from insectoids and arachnids. Vitality damage and stuff from the bat. Eye of the Guardian. Acid damage and poison damage. Chaos damage. So far, the only one that I really, really want is Scorpion. Right then. So where else are we going? Continuing west. It's the only way.
Well, that was effective. Find a way through Smuggler's Pass. Sir, yes, sir. Dead end. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look, a harpy. Oh, God. Stay away from cliffs. And it hates me. Of course. You're surprised by this? This is becoming status quo and I don't like it. See, we came out from this cave, but didn't have a look around. Ghost lady, what was her quest? Lutra. Tell her daughter. Don't worry, lady. We'll kill your daughter. <laughs> you to kill my daughter okay say no more <laughs> we'll handle it so I kill my daughter because she's cursed to be a harpy yeah that does not seem great what if she enjoys being a harpy though we may never know because odds are she's just gonna attack us straight away I believe so. All oh, right, the harpies that ran in this spawn because we walked by. My energy regen is getting pretty damn good now. I'm a bit worried about my HP, though. I have 2.2 thousand HP, 2.6 thousand energy. I don't know if that's normal for my class. I don't know which way to go. Shoot. Oh, hello. Blue item. Oh, it's the second set of that uh, offhand you gave me. Lucky you. So I can get plus 
ether damage. Next set, I can get plus one to all skills in Arcanus. 26% damage reflected. What's the third set? Maven's Lens. Hmm, what could that could be? What could that could be? Good English. <laughs> what could that could be? I'm gonna guess it's a hat. I'm already wearing the hat. Well, in that case, it's Maybe, gotta be a weapon. Yeah, weapon scenes most likely. Could be a weird name for a ring or an amulet. Yep. But weapon true. seems very likely. Although in Path of Exile, there there's um, a shield called Malagaro's Lens. It can't be a shield. So it could be you anything. Have an offhand, though. Yeah. And I don't expect it to be a pair of boots. <laughs> Lens well, just doesn't sound good. Boots or maybe some gloves, or some pants. Probably not. Lens just doesn't strike me as very fitting for those particular types of garments. Garmentist. But you never know. Could be a belt for all I know. Now I think it's more likely to be an accessory. Maybe. We shall see. I hope I find it. Oh, hey, look. Undead. The hell you say? Hey, it's Calderos. Hello, sir. I'll take that. Slay Grand Peace. Zarthuzelon. Zarthuzelon. Zarthuzelon? Either way, it sounds like fun. Slay Grand Priest Zarthuzelon. I'm ready. Did you go into the place? Yep. So a torment? Pretty sure that... When I went here with my melee character, said a presence one's stronger than your... You lingers here. No, didn't say that for me. Something's kicking my ass, though. I have to keep zooming out. There we go. They're just making a beeline for your pets, completely ignoring me. Here we go. Now they want a piece. Holy shit. A whole lot of nothing in there. Oh, he's reflective. Sorry, he's dead. Hey, how's it going, Endo Pro? It is very much a Diablo c clone, but it has uh, some pretty interesting systems in it as well. 
It's more accurate to call it a Titan Quest clone, but yeah. it's a Diablo clone, so... I mean, the yeah. creators of this were the creators of Titan Quest, and it, it it's yeah. a very Titan Quest. I mean, just look at the skill tree. I'll be right back. You shall be right back. But yeah, here's, uh, here's a system that you won't find in uh, Diablo. The uh, Devotion System gives you a fair amount of choices in which to further enhance your character. I'm back. Oh, that was fast. But yeah, you... Over the course of the game, you'll find these uh, devotion shrines, and when you cleanse them, you'll get some devotion points which you can put in this little star map thing. So you start off at the crossroads, you put one in here, and it'll unlock a bunch of options here that you can invest into. For instance, you know, cold damage, lightning damage, various types of damage, and eventually you can get skills. So for this one, you'll get you know, a Tsunami, 35% chance to attack, will uh, deal some extra damage. And if you have this attached to a skill, eventually it'll start leveling up as you gain experience. Yeah, kind of like the skill tree in Path of Exile. Very much like that. Path of Exile, by the way, being like a game I've poured thousands and thousands of hours into. <laughs> I've only just recently started playing this to check it out with General Peaches here. Seems eager to move on. Let's do it. I will say though, the um the combat is a little bit clunkier though. Just in terms of how it feels. But it's still pretty fun. Oh, hey, level up. That means I can wear my belt. That's basically like an auto potion. And I'm almost dead. <laughs> Something that happens a fair amount, so. I like the sound of that. Let me put a point into Physique. Right, so, should I level up Devastation some more? It already does some pretty good damage. I think I might want to go that Sphere of Protection now. Right here, one point to Devastation, two into the Sphere. And this is like a... Uh, Toggle. Energy cost per second. Luckily, my regen is insane. Does it have a duration on it, or is it... No, no duration. It's toggle, so it doesn't have a duration. Sweet, so long as you can keep up the energy regen. Which I can. So we're in business. There's enemies in there and I want to kill them. Freaking skeletons blocking the doorway, it's rude. Up oh, tsunami rank seven. Alright then, let's go deeper. Oh, Misery. It's a lovely name. Yep. Get the range dudes down. Because they annoy me. How about you get them down because they kill me? I like that. I guess that's better. that's an okay reason. <laughs> I accept it. Ooh. 
level 34 dude down here. Our doorways down there. Just this one. They just yeah, keep I'm coming. Sure devotion shrine. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't leave without it. It's a desecrated shrine too, so no items required for this one. They're quickly becoming my favorite kind of devotion shrine. Yeah, super easy. Like if I just, if you just hit it, I'll drop a devastation, and that should take care of most of the work. And that's dead end. Cool story. Shrine first. Always. A lot of angry people guarding it. Go Tsunami, go! Not well aimed. <laughs> Would have made much shorter work of the gargantuan. Oh well. There we go. Devotion point awarded. And I got a a blue shoulder guard. Don't I already have this recipe? Yeah, I do. It's not for me, unfortunately. Devotion point, however. That is most definitely for me. So this will give me 12 offensive ability. Then I'll get poison damage, more offensive ability, and then the skill. 25% chance on attack. Hmm. What would I put it on? I guess it's kind of the benefit of having multiple... Like, primary attacks. Well, my Hellhound now has a Flame Torrent ability from my Devotion Tree on his attack. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Flame Torrent. I found some green pants. They're not so great. I have green boot. I found green boots. They are probably not great either. We have they so much not. in common. All right, so we gotta go back over yonder words. Over yonder. We must check these environs. We must check all- thoroughly check the environ. Yes. I really- oh man. A pretentious RPG. <laughs> it would be hilarious for me. Full of death wizards. Ah uh, yeah. Death wizards, skeleton warriors, spiders. Maggots, because why not? Yeah, I gotta have them. Why not maggots? You know? Just fully rip off the Diablo 2 maggot lair. I freaking hate that place, man. I've heard horror stories about it. It is awful. Uh, there are very few classes where it is not awful. <laughs> Maybe one day I will find out for myself. There are very few builds where it's not awful. It's awful for summoners. It's awful... 
in several areas for hey, there's a stash over here. Ooh, hold on a sec. I will be with the stash in momentarily. It's awful for certain casters. It's awful for melee. Oh, blue. Crown oh, of command. Fortunately, oh, it's it. headgear that I can't make use of. I want Shield that maiden's set bonus. Guard. Well, sounds really useful. For it gives soldier. pet damage and pet attack speed. Wait, what is it? Crown of command. I have that actually. Oh, do you? <laughs> is yeah. it a... what, is, what are the stats on that one, though? Ooh. Maybe it's a better one. That's fine. She's all yours. Let's find out. Uh, more spirit, more energy. Wow, it's pretty much better. Nice. Slightly less attack speed, but everything else is like better. Please enjoy. Oh, I will. I'm not even doing like most of the work. All about them pets. Skeleton Knight didn't want to go down. Oh, good. One tonic of mending. Awesome chest. Well, it's the only way to go. Yup. I like how it closes behind you. It's not ominous at all. Oh, look at this dude. Air Priest. Zarthuzalon. Eat devastation. That skill's not ready. I can't open that. I'll just stand here and explode. Until I run out of energy. Did he do what now? Oh. He healed. He healed, yeah. Hmm, is there some kind of secret mechanic to this fight? Or is he just a cheesy bastard? I think he's just a cheesy bastard. Potentially. There we go. Got a blue. I did not. And a writings of his name that I keep forgetting how to pronounce. Lore bonus. Of Zarthusa something something. That's straight. Hmm. Boots are interesting. 100% so chance when game. hit. It's um. Oh, wow. So, yeah, 100% chance when hit, minus 20% move speed. For three seconds. And a three second recharge. Yeah, I think I, think I won't. Okay, so. Gates of Anguish. <laughs> Did that. Did you have a skeleton key blueprint that you dropped? Yeah. Did you drop it on purpose? Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want and it? And then I picked it up. I picked it up. I mean, I well, have one. I have, I, I unless we both get one. I also have it in, in my inventory. Oh, so I guess we both got one. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Didn't want to use it if it belonged to you. Well, I already learned it. On my melee character. That's locked. Gates of anguish have been opened. I didn't get to read the rest of that. Oh man. Sounds like fun. Your connection to Rift Gates feels absent within uh, this play. No porting allowed. 
That means, uh... We're gonna die. I was more speaking about inventory space cannot be decreased. Or increased, rather. Oh my gosh. Maybe if we go back to the last room before that message appeared? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go into I this need... place. That's locked. Need... Oh. And it's sealed. It's closed behind us. Um. Looks like we're gonna have to be picky. We're in this for the long haul, I guess. Which is really unfortunate because... Oh! So many suffering. jugs to destroy. Oh, is that what they, this area is called? Suffering? Yep. <laughs> nice. First was misery, then was suffering. What other lovely names can we be in store for? I found a green. I found a champion. Lady Rosenthal, who ran away from my devastation. I don't like that. Didn't we already fight Lady Rosenthal? Yes, we did. Oh, she is level 36. Yeah, she's a bit pissed. There we go. A green heavy axe. Or reputation with the rovers. Oh, this heavy axe gives 12% all damage, offensive ability, and 5% experience gain. It would be a slight downgrade in damage, though, I think. I want to wear it. Screw it. I've had that other weapon forever. I saw a chest. I'm in the Chamber of Souls. Shit going down. I cannot enter. There's a you bone. Were locked in there. There's a bone reliquary in here. I can't, I can't get in. <laughs> Sorry, right, I got this. I'm missing all that experience. It makes me sad. Champion. Oh, shit. Oh, level 36 champion. Hi. I can cast through... I can cast through the gateway. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let's bring him close. Yeah. Look at that. Even through the gate, he's going for you. Even through the gate? Wow. <laughs> the enemies just have it out for you so bad. Well, now we're just, like, cheesing this fight because he wants to kill me. Yep. Can I open this yet? And maybe I have to open the... Oh, no. There's still more enemies. Oh. And another champion. Super, uh, super cheese strats. Get him close to you and let him try and kill you. Oh man, look at all this loot. You seeing this loot? Yes. I'm dead. <laughs> well. That's a thing. Doesn't that mean you can't get back in? Maybe if I take the long way. You would you would need to spend another key. Hmm, that is a good point. And I can't get into that room. <laughs> Interesting points raised all around. Oh sure, sure. I can't get in, but they can get out. <laughs> it makes me feel really happy. Well, let's see. I have a... 
bit of a jog ahead of me. Where's the... Gotta go all the way south. Wow. Oh yeah, and I leveled up. Should probably take care of that business. Right, so I'll put one point into the sphere and my last two points into conversion. Then I'll put that back on. Don't worry, I'm coming. Eventually. Do you have. I think. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need another skeleton key. Maybe one will drop. Maybe I have to kill that boss again. You could craft one. This is true. I'll wait until before I enter the... the cave. Oh, there's another... There's another rift. Broken Hills rift. I did it. I got into the room. Oh, you did? Nice. Anything good in there? No. <sighs> oh. I, there's a frozen heart piece here for me, though, so that's nice. Ooh, polished emerald. I do not like the idea of me missing out on loot. The bone well reliquary appears to be locked still. Hmm. No hints on how to open it? I'm afraid to interact with it and lock myself in this room by myself. Okay. I'm on my way. This music's intense. I wish I could portal out. Yeah. <laughs> I wish but I could portal even, in. Even if I couldn't, like, the torchlight and torchlight 2 mechanic of having a pet that I can send back to town that would be to cool. sell things for me would be amazing. Shoot an email over to Crate. Tell him to make it happen. Yeah. We want pets. I want the ability to sell items from inside dungeons I can't leave. Please end thank you. I'm getting there. Alright, let me head back to town really quick. First of all, empty my inventory. I'm envious of your ability to do that. I bet you are. I'm trapped. <laughs> that one is not for me. So let's see. Oh, I can craft Maven's Lens. It's an amulet. Oh. I mean, I can't craft it right now. I don't have the materials. It requires tainted brain matter, amber, ectoplasm, and cold stone. Well, you've got one of those things. Gives me a skill, 10% chance when hit, raises a protective shield that absorbs physical blows. Oh wait, the bone reliquary isn't locked anymore. I can open it. Ah, oh, shit. Sweet. Skeleton key. Requires blood of Cathon. Blood of Cathonic. And ectoplasm. I have no blood. So I can't craft the key. Well, quick draw gloves, which is for pistols. Yay! Great. So, okay, I am trapped in this area. Unless I die, apparently, or finish it. I'll keep you stairs. You've doomed us. <laughs> My greed has gotten the best of us. 
Well, I, can't, I don't have that blood. I have no idea where to get it. Uh, Salazar or Cultus. Hmm. Spe well, Cultus champions like Salazar would drop it. Well, I'm going to go back into the that dungeon and see if anything happens. Alright. Although probably not, but it's worth a shot. Oh, things are getting bad. <laughs> Where I'm getting there, I ventured pain. Killing off some stragglers. I'm fighting a death revenant. Oh, that sounds like fun. And it's dead. Awesome. All right, next level. Misery. Blueprint explores trousers. Oh man, I want some trousers. I already know this recipe? Wow. Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens. That's locked. Uh, once the doors are sealed, you have to return another time. That's locked. See, so yeah, I need another key. Which I need to craft. Oh, and on top of those materials, it costs 10,000 iron bits. The summoner cheese. <laughs> wrecking shop over there? I wouldn't say I'm wrecking shop, but I'm surviving. And that is I guess that's currently the most important thing. That's the best we can hope for. Well, unfortunately, I cannot enter. So let's see. This is unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate for me. Yes. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left, but it's a good use. Come see what's left of my wares. I wish I knew how close I was to the end of this. I do the best I can. Still going on? Yep. Hmm. Alternatively, I wish I could leave. Yeah, that would be a good thing. But I mean, leaving would be amazing right now. You can leave, but you'll have to pay with your life. I don't want to pay the blood toll. <laughs> I'm gonna be a cheesy bastard, and I'm going to look up that blood of whatever. Blood of Cthonic? Yep. Blood of Cthon. You could farm it. But from where? 
Let's see. Can be looted from Cathonic and Bloodsworn heroes and bosses. Yep. Like Salazar. Where was Salazar at? In the uh, Strange Key Sanctuary. Hmm, somewhere in Act 1. Yep. Need to find that. I'm gonna find it and kill him. Let's see. Let me search for. Let's see, Grim Dawn. Salazar. You know the broken bridge in Act 1? Um, there Let's are many broken again. bridges. When we had to go through the flooded passage? Hold on. Let's see, where is that near, like, on the map? Alright, so you want to go to the Burwich Outskirts? Yeah. Hmm. Burwich Outskirts backtrack towards a broken bridge. Alright, let's see. I think that's the broken bridge there. Okay, I think it's in this area. How I die. Survive. I am trying, but he's like long range swinging at me. <laughs> I, s I see your health of dancing. Hello, blood sworn people. Good to see you again. I lived. Congratulations. Um, I'll take roiling blood. To the iron door. Little cheats bastard got a cheap shot at me when I was loading. Drop from regular enemies or just Salzar? Salzar. It has to be champion or heroes. Okay. This dude's corpse didn't die fully, <laughs> he's just standing there. Lodestone part more important to me than this key. Or that ring, I should say. I was not aware that enemies scaled with you. Yeah. 
This is new information to me. There's a bit of enemy scaling going on. These dudes are higher level than me. <laughs> I found uh, a boss. Good luck. Thank you. Ilgore the Eternal. Good luck, have fun, don't die. Oh, that's the plan. He had to be a skeleton gargantuan who can do it. It's a good thing I have so many health potions. I'm gonna need them. Saved by potions and curse of frailty. Sounds legit. I'm fighting Lucius Blood Boil again. Who's now level 36? He's done some training. You've improved since last we fought. I found a blue. Once again, not for me. Ooh. Okay, like. Everything is like six levels above me. <laughs> well, not everything, I guess, but all like the heroes and champions. The apparitions are at least the same level as me. That's a bonus. And Ilgar the Eternal has healed himself. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Get his harbinger down. All right, Salazar. He killed me. <laughs> that son of a bitch. I probably should have put a preemptive rift. Let's see, outskirts. Shouldn't take too long to walk back. Does you, it's a good point, actually. Does your rift go away when you die? I never I actually, so. never actually checked. A blueprint. Nice. Adept scripts. I'll take it because I don't know it. I like how my helmet is bright blue and it looks completely different from the rest of my gear. Just stands out so much. Ooh. Boots that give plus two to summon Hellhound and 24% damage to pets. How very relevant. How incredibly useful for me. Alright, Salazar, round two. Coming for you. After I open this chest. Oh gosh, there's a next level. Ooh, heroic chest. Still really feeling like I want a, uh... Oh, seal of binding, what's that? The ability to sell items. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. The giant skull icon. Yep, there's my grave. Pop down a rift, just in case. 
Oh, I have no more rings I can toss. Oh, shit. I'm gonna toss other things. Dude's level 36. Oh my god. Hit my potion, just instant decimation. You dying or he's dying? I'm dying. Ow. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep this up much longer. Ah, uh, shit! This dude <laughs> hurts so much. I'm already operating on, like, a knife's edge. Like, one mistake and I die. Pretty much a similar situation with me. I can only whittle him a little bit at a time. I can't stay too close. No, I hate it when he runs out of devastation. Get back in it, son of a bitch. Oh, and he slows me down too, it hurts. Can't do that yet. Flametorn has reached rank three. I have to, like, constantly curse enemies so that they can't run at me really fast. This dude is constantly cursing me. I know how it feels, making me run so slow. enemies are six levels above you. Yeah, that seems problematic. He's less than half HP. Awesome. Oh god. Claim that guy can be a war of attrition if you have to get into melee range. Unfortunately, I kind of do. In between volleys of devastation. Oh. I hate that lightning bolt. Crap, he does. Thank you, Wendigo Totem. Keeps running out of my devastation. I'm really getting tired of all these enemies hating me. <laughs> He's getting there. Damn it. <laughs> wow. Skeletal monstrosities. All right, we're oh, going man. back. I leveled up. <laughs> Congratulations. This is so. Uh, this is like so unfortunate. <laughs> At least his HP didn't come back. When Dago Totem didn't seem like it was doing anything for me, I thought it was crap, and now it's like the best thing ever. 
Because it's keeping me alive. Is it healing you? Yup. That does sound nice right about now. He's almost dead though. Got him. He didn't drop shit. And by that I mean literally nothing. He dropped nothing. That's really weird. I feel betrayed. I feel lied okay. to. Um, I'm dying right now. You must survive. Oh there no. Is dead. Oh. I couldn't kill the skeletal monstrosity. <laughs> Oh, you lasted a while in there. That is, uh... Opened all those brutal. chests, though. Nothing good, though. That's a shame. That is a shame. I was hoping he would drop something. Even if it wasn't the blood I wanted. But to get nothing, it's like a slap in the face. That's too bad. Well, let's see. There were other ways of getting it. Getting the blood. Let's see, it can also be obtained by killing Dereni in the Cultist in the Midst side quest. Well, we killed we didn't kill him in that quest. <laughs> That's too bad. But it does say it can be looted from Chthonic and Bloodsworn heroes and bosses, so. Yep. I may have to do some farming. I want another go at that area. That was hard. <laughs> I don't know what this Chthonic seal of binding is, though. Doesn't say it's a quest item. See anything you like. Put it to good use. We'll go ahead and stash it. Got something you need stashed. Actually timed out pretty perfectly. It's about time for me to head out. Let me buy some more. That place was kind of a nightmare. Potions, though. Because I used a great many of them. There we go. Well, it's a shame nothing came from it, but it was a fun diversion, nonetheless. Yep. And I have 59 scrap. I'll keep an eye on this. I do the best I can with what I've got. Let's see. I can make royal jelly balm. Health regen stuff. I thought I had tainted brain matter. You should. Did you make anything mm. that requires tainted brain matter? I mean, apparently. 
scrap metal. Uh, did you make one of the uh, Wait, let relics? me let me check. Maybe it was the relic I made. Because the relic, if you made a, like equilibrium or oh, something, yeah, it was the equilibrium. Then yeah, you used up your tainted gray matter. Shit. I have to get some more then. <laughs> Don't get killed out Well, there. that was pretty stressful. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> Let me see, I'm just looking up tainted brain matter now. Can be looted from ethereals. And ether corruption heroes and bosses. Farming required. No new devotion points available, unfortunately. We'll have to do that next time as well. I still don't know what I want to go for on this devotion tree next. I know what I'm going for next. Pet damage? Pet things. <laughs> well, there's there's plenty to choose from. One could almost say too much. I'm definitely going to grab Empty Throne and uh, the Raven. Fifty percent chance on crit. Not specking into crit. But yeah, we'll have to see. What is this? The gallows. What would 20 points into defensive ability? How far will that even take me? Defensive ability, 595. Last attacked by a skeletal monstrosity. Chance <laughs> to be hit, 98.6%. Jeez. Chance to be crit, 13.6%. Well, I'm doing better than you on that front. I have a 640 defensive ability. Last attacked by the Blood Sworn Agilent. Chance to be hit, 89.5%. Chance to be crit, 4.5%. Freaking level 36 enemies. Yeah. Yeah, Salazar was level 36, and that was not fun. Seventy percent armor absorption. But I'm still getting wrecked, so <laughs> it's not really it's not all that great. But yeah, cool deal. It is eleven o'clock on the dot. Time for me to get ready to get on out of here. But it was good times. Unfortunate at the end, though. <laughs> we, we screwed up. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that room was going to lock me in. That was the beginning of our problems. I just saw a room and I thought I'd check it out. 
But, oh well. Still having a blast with this, though. I've got so many blues equipped right now. Yeah. Feels good. Two dynamite. 55 health potions, 30 energy. I have 20 energy reserved. How'd that happen? Uh, oh, I see. Conversion. That's not too bad. See, I'll be leveling that up some more. Level up sphere protection some more. Maybe I'll take it to max. I don't know. More nullification would probably be fun as well. I'm still not sure if I want to level up Tempest or Inferno. But that'll be decisions for next time. But yeah, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and head out, shut down the game. You don't have anything, like no vendors to visit or anything like that? Nope. All right, cool deal. Exit to main menu. All right, cool stuff, man. I'll be heading out of Discord as well. All right. All right, have a good one, and um, I guess we'll continue tomorrow if you're going to be available. Sounds good. All right, sweet. I'll see you then. Later. See ya. All right, and there we have it. Today's Grim Dawn adventure complete. Oh my god, my char character's freaking the hell out. Messing around on my other monitor. All right, stop spinning, for God's sakes. You're scaring the children. But yeah, good times. Good times. So yeah, tomorrow will be uh, my longer day. Only got in a little less than three hours, but it was a good three hours. Quite enjoyed that. But uh, yeah, we'll be going on for a bit longer tomorrow, hopefully. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs>